There's a real feeling of never giving up hope. I often felt that I was in very hopeless situations, but deep in my mind there was always that belief that there are happy endings, good things do happen, even though you're in a moment of darkness, there is a feeling of light coming up. But if you hope enough, if you actually believe enough, combination of your own spirit, but also scientific research will come together. And in my case, I really have been given a gift. Well, it was quite sudden and dramatic that um, I was going to university down in New Zealand and basically in the second year, they made it very clear and very plain that 87% uh, of people would fail. So suddenly I really wanted to be in that 13%. And my mother had had a little bit of psoriasis, so I was kind of aware that uh, those little lesions were maybe something that I might get one day, but I didn't really pay that much attention. But it was very much around the time of the final examinations that suddenly I was studying and happened to look down and literally before my eyes, these sort of welts started to appear. Dwight first came to me in the early 90s with one of the most severe cases of psoriasis I had seen to that time. He had generalized red scaling thickened patches, that is patches all over his body. The common response of dermatologists at that time would have been essentially to say, look, it's not treatable, it's not curable, go away and learn to live with it. It was interesting actually how I first um, met my, my husband Dwight because I was corporate marketing manager of a quite a large company um, and this very handsome, very tanned man came along to present a proposal to me. But then later on um, I realised that he wasn't actually just suntanned, he actually suffered from a, a very terrible disease, psoriasis, and in fact the tan was all part of the treatment he was undergoing at that time. The irony of uh, after getting married, uh, uh, my K basically developed the most terrible condition of Crohn's. Many doctors said there's absolutely no way you'll be able to have children. So we accepted that fact for a long, long time until suddenly one day she was pregnant. When I first found out I was pregnant, while I was incredibly excited about it, I was also really quite concerned because I'd been on some very major medication for Crohn's. Um, and a lot of the research um, had said that, in fact, the, a baby could be born with very major um, problems. Actually, I'll never forget the, the moment when uh, the specialist came out and said, I've got some really bad news that your daughter does have Crohn's. And I remember Kay and I going down to the car park and just both sobbing. But we then obviously made the decision, we just really have to look after Holly, do the best for her. For me, having Crohn's, it has been quite difficult. Um, throughout the years, but it actually has settled down at the moment because of seeing doctors quite regularly and having regular checkups. Well, my dad has been very good with his psoriasis. He has always said to me, always keep strong. People won't treat you differently if you have this disease and drive, do what you want and succeed in life and yeah, keep on going. Well, I went on my annual pilgrimage to the dermatologist and really thought, okay, it's gonna be another year of rejection, another year of disappointment. Uh, I went in there and asked the question to my dermatologist, uh, is there anything new? Dermatologist replied, well, as a matter of fact, there is something new, and it's a very um, modern, cutting-edge drug that uh, is called Humira. When Humira became available in New Zealand, it was clear to me for the first time we had an agent to offer him that was going to be more effective than the things he had been using. The dermatologist explained that uh, effectively it was developed for rheumatoid arthritis, but they also found that it was very suitable for treating psoriasis and also Crohn's disease. Very early on, I started to find that some of the really severe parts of my leg and front psoriasis were starting to disappear. That was also affirmed by my wife Kay and Holly saying, actually it really is working. I think it was literally like a week. It was just unbelievable. The real excitement came about a month later when I saw Dwight uh, in his first sort of follow-up a month into treatment and the psoriasis was almost completely gone. My dermatologist, he looked at it and I'll never forget his face, it was absolute amazement about it. He said, I cannot believe this is working so well. It's just fantastic to see Dwight happy and just more confident, just wonderful to have clean skin. I think it really has made a huge change on his life. My dad is a lot happier now. He is more outgoing and he's outside helping me with the horses and coming to events and supporting me. 
It's wonderful to think there is an option for Holly now. So part of my relief and joy is that the thing that's actually helped me so much, Humira, is an option for her. It's just wonderful to think that there's a drug out there that could potentially um, save Holly's life. It's unbelievable. It's like having a, a sense of like an insurance policy. And I'm sure that um, while this drug's here, it also gives you faith in these other drugs being developed as well. So who knows what the stage two of that could be as well. It sounds amazing and it's helped my dad so well that it actually could help me in the future and to everyone else who has Crohn's disease or psoriasis. Yeah, so I think it's gonna be a good drug for the future, for me and for everyone else. It really has taught me that dreams do come true. And the minute you stop dreaming, you really stop being alive. And even though it's taken me 37 years, suddenly my impossible dream is now part of my daily life. Good things happen. There are positive outcomes and dreams do come true.